Welcome to the wonderful chapter called Solution of Triangles. Triangles. So it's very obvious that this chapter will teach you how to solve a different problem for triangles. And in this chapter, you will learn two rules. Two rules. One is sine rule. The other one will be your cosine rule. From the sine rule, you know that we are going to use sine. From the cosine rule, it means we are going to use cos. Well, of course, that's very straightforward. But what is sine rule about? So we'll focus on sine rule first. So for sine rule, uh, what are we going to use for the sine rule? It is helping us to find any missing length of your triangle or any missing sides of your triangle or any angles that is missing in your triangle. But the next question is, when are we going to use sine rule? When are we going to use sine rule? When? Now, you are going to use sine rule when you have a pair. When you have a pair, you use sine rule. What does the pair mean in this triangle? So now, in triangle, we will label it this way. So let's draw a better one. Here's a capital A. Capital B, capital C, and this would be the anger. Opposite the anger, opposite the A, you will have a small letter A for the side, the length of the side. Then opposite B, small letter B. Opposite C, small, let, small letter C. So for example, You have 30 degrees here. So the, the capital A and the small letter A means a pair. And then the B with the B is another pair. Small letter C and capital letter C is another pair. So if here is 30, opposite 30 could be 6 cm. And let's say here is 80. What would be the length here? So the criteria we discussed just now was we use sine rule when there is a pair. So what does the pair mean? It means you have the angle and the opposite length. This means a pair. So in this triangle, do you have a pair? Yes. Okay. Let's give you another example. You have a triangle here. 50 degrees, 5 cm, 6 cm. What would be the angle here? In this triangle, do you have a pair? Yes, of course, because you have the 50 degrees and the opposite length, which is 5. So this triangle has a pair. Therefore, let's try to solve uh, the, the, the questions, a problem. But before that, when you have a parity, you know that you are going to use sine rule. 
And what does Sign Ru tells you? The Sign Ru say any length, let's say A, will be over the opposite angle, which is A, but because Sign Ru, we must have Sign. So A over Sign capital A would be equals to B over Sign capital B equals to C sine capital C. They are all the same. So let, let's illustrate through to an example that will be easier. Let's say we have a triangle now. Triangle is a very beautiful shape, right? It's a very beautiful shape. And you could see one of the greatest building in the world, the pyramid. The basic shape is also triangle. Now, AB is 8cm, let's see. And then here is 70 degrees. And then you have 40 degrees here. We want to find the AC and let's denote it by Y. Now you see here, the first thing you need to ask when you solve a triangle question is, do you have a pair? Do you have a pair? In this triangle, do you have a pair? Yes, because you have the 40 degrees and the opposite length. So when you have the degree and the opposite length, we say this is a pair. And now we want to find the y. So whenever you have a pair, we're going to use sine rule. Now, remember the a over sine a, b equals sine b, c over sine c, right? How are we going to use it? Because we want to find y, right? And y is the, the, the length of the side ac. So we'll start by putting y first over the opposite angle, which is 70. But because angle, you must put sine. Since we have put the length as the numerator, the right hand side, the length must be numerated as well. So we put in the pair now, which is 8 and 40. So the length has to be on, have to be put on the numer numerator over the opposite of 8 is 40 degrees. So 40 degrees, remember the sine. Whenever it's angle, we put sine. So now just type into your calculator and rearrange it. So it means y equals to 8 sine 70 over sine 40. And now you can just use your powerful calculator. So we put in sine 70, which is, you get from a calculator 0 0.9397. Sine 40, you get 0 0.6428. And now you can plug in into your calculator again. Ta -ta 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 -ta. You get 11.6951 cm and that is the length for your y or we can say the length of ac so this is how you use sine root to solve your triangle problem we'll do more later